If you find yourself rigging items that are very similar to other items that you've rigged, you might want to take advantage of the rig format, which is the RIG format, which allows you to pull one rig and export it and then import it into another item. Uh, a, a good use for this is if you're building a lot of biped characters and their structure is very similar, well, there's no reason to start from scratch each time. So what I thought we could take a look at is using the rig format and uh, see how that works. So you aren't necessarily required to export the entire rig. If you want, you can just export part of the hierarchy. Like if you really liked the arm setup, you could just select the shoulder bone and you could export out from the shoulder down. So, or say you've got a really nice hand rig and you want to, you don't want to keep uh, building all the, the hierarchy, the, the bone structure for hands, well, save out a, a hand rig and then load that in. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the entire rig. So I'm going to go down to the, uh, the root bone. Uh, this is the, the, the base of our hierarchy. And I'm going to have that selected, come over to the Setup tab, and choose Export Rig. And I've got some options. It lets me know that the root of my hierarchy is going to be Bone 1, which in this case is correct. I can choose where I want to export the files. So I'm just going to save this out as uh, Hip Hop 001.rig save. I can put a description, uh, which is kind of handy. This could be a base by ped. And if I had IK set up, I could um, export out the IK goals. If I had any kind of um, item shapes or targets, I could go ahead and export that information out as well. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And I could save my scene and, and be done. I'm going to go ahead and clear the scene. And let's just go to perspective view. I'm going to add a null and call this character. Okay. And now I'm going to import that rig into this item. So I'll come over to the setup tab, come over to import rig, choose the rig. And at this time I have the option to choose uh, to use the goals if there were any saved to it. I could change some of the naming uh, methods and things like that. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. It lets me know that my, um, it gives me the information, when it was created, the description I, I wrote, would you like to continue? Just in case if it wasn't the right one, I still have an option to turn back. Hit OK. Let's me know that 33 bones were created. And here's our rig. Okay. Now, once we have our rig in our new character, nothing stops us from, if the character is slightly different, well, let's go into, say, the front view. And I'm going to select uh, the, the item that we, we put the bones in. Nothing stops me from coming in and choosing joint move and adjusting the rig so that it fits a little bit better with my my new item. Okay, So that's just a quick look at taking advantage of the rig format in Lightwave. It allows me to import and export hierarchy, bone hierarchies. So it's not just limited to character rigs. You can use it for any kind of uh, hierarchy you want. You don't have to use it for the entire setup. Again, we could just have a really nice leg setup uh, and we could export that and use that anytime we need to to build a leg, arm, hands, anything. Uh, you can use it on entire characters as well. So that, those options are found under the Setup tab, under Edit, Import Rig, Export Rig, and that's the .rig format.